And that's what dinosaurs are doing. It's the same thing as lizards and crocs. They have this giant set of muscles on the first half of the tail that's anchoring on the femur, so the thigh bone on the back of that, and muscles contract. That's the one thing they do. But now you've got a giant muscle. Yeah, and T-Rex, this, this muscle's like two and a half, three meters long. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like this wide in the middle. So when that contracts, the leg goes back, the foot station around the ground, so the animal goes forwards. So the, the tail is integral to movement. So it's, it's a huge part of the biomechanics yeah. of the movement. We do it with the butt. So we're kind of weirdly how we organize our muscles. But there's a, this is generally probably a better way of doing it because you can get a really long muscle. And of course, the longer the muscle, the more contraction you can have. The hyper version of this is kangaroos. So kangaroos supposedly get more efficient the faster they move. They get so much energy return that when they're moving faster, they get more compression from the landing, meaning they get more spring. So we should be imagining this gigantic, thick tail, big body, oh, yeah. big head, yep, and uh, biped, and how fast does it move? So this is one of those things that's gone backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. There was a paper arguing that we'd probably been overestimating various speeds, primarily based on footprints. Um, there's been, I don't know how many papers trying to do T-Rex speed. The most recent one that was pretty detailed, I think had it clocked at, so I think it, I think it was 25 miles an hour. So 40 kph was the very upper end of the estimate. So probably a bit less than that. Well, that means it can move. Yeah. So that's the, but that's the thing, like big things move quick i've seen rhino and hippo going at full tilt and yeah they're a lot quicker than you'd think um and at least part of it is simply stride length when your legs are three-ish meters long it's hard not to cover a lot of ground with a single step um and yeah big big theropods t-rex is, is going to be a power walker it's not going to run in the conventional biomechanical sense where both feet are off the ground at so one it's not point. running as power walk yeah but when you've got a four or five meter long stride, it doesn't really matter whether you're airborne or not. <laughs> Power walking. So you're never, so or running, there's moments in time when both feet are off the ground and you're saying likely here, one foot is always on the ground. Yeah, it pretty much has to be for loading. Oh, for just because of the mass of the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah.